Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about five things to do before driving a car. Now many people simply get in their car, they start it and they drive. And there are actually quite a few things that you should be doing before you start that car and before you drive. I'll be going over five simple things. Now these five things will take you almost no time at all. They're really quick, really easy, really simple and really important to do. Now let's get right to it. Number one is a circle check. Now a circle check is a very simple check that I believe that everyone should do before they get into their car. It takes like 10 seconds and it is super effective. Now to do a circle check, you literally just walk in a circle around your car. So you walk a complete circle around your car and you look around your car for a few things. Number one, you look for any obstructions, any pedestrians, any animals, anything that's around your car that you should know about uh, before you actually get into the car and also you're looking for any dents or damages or dings or scratches or anything like that that might have occurred since you parked your car since the last time you did the circle check now what that does is a few things number one it allows you to be a safer driver because you're looking for the animals pedestrians obstructions anything around your car and number two it allows you to narrow down a time frame if you do find some damages on your car so if you did a circle check this morning uh, you you know when you left your house and then if you drove your car to work and then you're doing a circle check when you're leaving work and you see a dent that wasn't there before you know that it happened between the last time that you did a circle check and this time that you did a circle check so it allows you to narrow down a time frame and I think that's also a hugely important point number two is you should adjust your seat headrest mirrors and steering wheel now if you are driving your car and you're the only one that drives your car, this doesn't really apply to you. You should probably just, you know, take five seconds to make sure that everything's still in place because theoretically your side mirrors could be adjusted. You know, someone could just walk by them and push them out of place. So you want to just make sure everything's still in place. But if you have multiple people that drive your car, you know, like I said, if it's you and your spouse or your kids, then you should always just make sure that everything's adjusted properly before you, uh, before you drive the car. You should encourage the other people that drive your car to adjust it according to them okay now and that's simply because you want to be a safe driver but if other people are driving your car and you care about those people which I'm assuming that you do you should make sure that they're adjusting it too it takes it's so quick once you get the hang of it once you've done it a few times you can do it in a matter of like 20 to 30 seconds so just take those 20 to 30 seconds or longer if you need it and adjust your seat your headrest your mirrors and also the steering wheel number three is put your your seatbelt on. Now it is unbelievable the amount of people that drive without a seatbelt. Some people will do it all the time and other people will drive without a seatbelt you know on short distances saying that oh I'm just driving to the corner store at the end of the street. No matter wh where you're driving whether it's three inches or three miles or 300 kilometers however long it is it's important to wear a seatbelt because a seatbelt greatly increases the safety when you're driving so a seatbelt will highly increase your level of safety as a driver plus here's another thing subconsciously when you put your seatbelt on you're gonna drive in a safer manner without a seatbelt you're more likely to drive aggressively with the seatbelt you're less likely to drive aggressively more likely to drive defensively because you're taking that first First step of being a defensive driver so you're setting your mindset and your mind frame for defensive driving the moment that you buckle up so that was number three put your seatbelt on number four lock the doors now in a lot of modern cars they'll automatically lock the doors once you hit a certain speed like some cars will you know it will be 15 kilometers an hour let's say so as soon as you hit that speed it'll automatically lock the doors if you have a car that has this feature then you don't have to worry about number four which is locking the doors but if your car doesn't automatically lock the doors you want to make sure that you lock the doors um, before you start driving simply because like you might accidentally hit your door handle and open up the door if you have children in the car they might open up their door if you have passengers in the car they might accidentally open up their door and that can create a very unsafe situation so just lock the doors if your car automatically has that feature beautiful you don't have to do it the car will do it for you if not just lock the doors whether it's manual locks or power locks make sure that they're locked before you start driving okay 
Last but not least is number five, which is eliminate all potential distractions. Now I'm gonna go further than saying, you know, simply turn your cell phone off or put your cell phone to the side or in your pocket somewhere where you're not gonna see it. I'm gonna tell you that anything that you want to do while you're driving, do it in advance. That means something like setting up your radio station. If you, you know, if you don't like the song that's on or the, the station that's on the radio, change it before you start driving. This way, you're good, you're not distracted when you're driving. If your car is freezing cold, Turn on the heat before you start driving so you're not like frigidly trying to get to the heat as you're driving. What it does is it just, once again, increases the level of safety as a driver. Eliminate as many distractions as you can, you know. If you're driving and you don't like the radio station, you know, or you don't like the song, then change the radio station while you drive. It's very possible to drive safely while still doing those things, but I'm just saying, you know, as much as possible before you start driving, you should eliminate those distractions. Eliminate as many distractions as possible. And that's basically it. Those have been five things to do before driving a car. They're simple, they're easy, they're quick. Do them before you start driving your car. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. What are some other important things to do before you start driving? Let me know as a comment down below. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.